You are now watching Because Geek. Hello everybody, how are you all doing? This is an update video that I've been meaning to make for a long time now. It's been long overdue and it's about Because Geek, what's happening with Because Geek and my life and things like that. So let's get into it. As many of you know, I've always been slow with my videos. If you've been following my channel for a while, you will know that it's kind of my thing. And I know that a lot of you don't care about that, a lot of you think that the waiting time for my videos is worth it, you guys understand that it takes a lot of research, that the script writing process takes me a long time, recording, editing, and all of that, and you guys are beautiful human beings for thinking that way. But a while back, I did say that I was going to be a full-time YouTuber, which would mean that I would be uploading a lot more often, and I'm still not doing that. So I kind of do owe you guys an explanation for that. I've summed it up into three reasons. Number one, I've been spreading myself too thin. I actually have been making a lot more content and have been doing a lot more things since I went full-time, but they just haven't been all on Because Geek. I did think I was going to be a full-time YouTuber, but I ended up becoming a full-time content creator, which means that I've been making content on a whole bunch of different platforms and places. And the saddest thing is that only a small percentage of you guys know about this. It's been a lot more difficult than I thought to communicate it properly to you guys, but I've actually been uploading content to four to five different channels and platforms on and off ever since I went full-time. And it took me a long time to realize that spreading myself so thin wasn't the greatest thing to do. So lately I've been trying to fix that. But it has been difficult to cut back on all of those commitments because they are commitments. And I've been worried about letting people down. You know, those people who do know about that content and enjoy that extra content. I hate not giving it to them anymore. But yeah, I should have just stuck to Because Geek from the start. I made a mistake, and I'm paying for it. But all mistakes are lessons to learn from, right? I just have to deal with the consequences. Oh, and the other channels and platforms that I'm talking about are first, my vlogging channel, which was called Because Studios, which I used to upload that vlog or failed vlog that I tried to do when I first went full-time, and where I also uploaded a podcast that I was doing with Stevie, a guy that I worked with for a while, called the Because Podcast, which also didn't go anywhere. Then there's my gaming channel, Because Gaming. As you can see, I was trying to build up this Because brand, and I was uploading pre-recorded gameplay videos on there, as well as live streaming games. But then I switched over to Twitch, and I've been live streaming on Twitch every Wednesday for over a year now. But I only mentioned this in one to two videos, so a lot of you guys still don't know about this. I only get an average of 12 viewers per stream. And no, they're not Game of Thrones related streams, they're gaming streams, but you are able to ask me Game of Thrones questions on there if you wanted to. So yeah, the Because Podcast died, but then I also joined another podcast that I was doing with other YouTubers called The Side Effect Podcast. And recently we've had it on hold because we don't really know what to do with it right now, but we did do it for over a year as well. And on top of all of that, every now and then I make exclusive content for my patrons on patreon.com slash becausegeek. So yeah, for those of you who didn't know, I've been doing a lot. Now let's move on to reason number two. I haven't been making more videos more often because I've been dealing with a burnout that will not go away. Or maybe it goes away for a week, for a few days at a time, and then it comes back. And every time I sit down to work on a video, I just feel this intense resistance. I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about. You probably deal with it at your work too. And I've done research on this, and the only way to get out of a burnout is to take a really long break. Which is something that, as a YouTuber, you can't really do. Because if you took a long break and you stopped making videos, you also stop making money. And your channel also loses momentum. It starts dying, you start losing subscribers, all of that good stuff. I've talked about this with my patrons who give me a monthly pledge, and I am super grateful that they are so understanding about this, and the fact that I'm only able to give them one video a month. But it doesn't mean that I don't still feel guilty about it. And that guilt and frustration turns into stress, which turns into more burnout, which turns into just a really, really bad situation for making videos. But moving on to reason number three, which is kind of tied to reason number two, because it comes from not making enough money, from not making enough videos. I've had jobs other than YouTube. Yes, I haven't been 100% full-time this whole time. 
I did have a part-time job from November 2016 to February 2017, and I am job hunting again right now. So that has also been taking time away from making videos. But it has actually become quite urgent that I find a job right now, not only to be able to support myself, but also to be able to support my family. Because as some of you know, I'm originally from Venezuela, and Venezuela is a country that has been suffering harshly from socialism gone wrong and a bunch of corruption and inflation, and inflation causes a shortage of food, so a lot of people are going hungry, there's been a shortage of water as well, the power goes out, it's really hard to find medicine, very bad things that have made uh, living very hard for them. A lot of my family is still living there, so I feel responsible for helping them. I'm fortunate enough to be living in a country where I can get a job that pays me enough to be able to support them. And all I've been doing is just having fun with YouTube. I mean, I feel really guilty about that. I mean, I wasn't just thinking about myself when I started YouTube. I was thinking YouTube could grow very big and give me enough money to support them as well. I was doing YouTube with them in mind, but YouTube has been so bad lately with the whole adpocalypse and all of these new things that are making it a lot harder for YouTubers to make money. And I'm sure if I put in the effort it needs, I can actually make the money that I need, but it will take longer than my family can wait. So I need a quicker solution, which is just finding a stable job again. And just to clarify, I'm not trying to be a martyr here, like I'm sacrificing my dreams for my family or anything. No, 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 no. I am definitely still going to pursue my dreams and achieve my goals. I'll just have to do it with a 9 to 5 job, which isn't that big of a deal to me. So yeah. The main skills that I can offer a company right now are video editing and motion design, and since I don't really want to do video editing, or front-end development for that matter, which is what I used to do in the past, I want to focus on motion design. And to get a job in motion design, you need a demo reel. So I started to put a demo reel together, and then I realized that it wasn't very strong with just my work on YouTube, which is why I decided to take an animation bootcamp by School of Motion, shout out to School of Motion. The course is intensive as but they really teach you all of the animation principles very well. And by doing the assignments, I will end up with a demo reel by the end of the course. So that's what I've been doing, but again, it's taking time away from making videos. So I'm telling you all of this just so that you know exactly what's happening with my life and why my videos are taking longer now. But I don't want you to think that I'm going to stop making videos, I am still trying to continue to upload. I don't want to completely disappear, so don't worry about that. Especially now that we're really getting close to the day when the first official trailer drops. And I want to have my entire 100% energy for that because those are the videos that I enjoy the most. It's the trailer breakdown videos. So yeah, that's it for now. And I don't want you to think that I'm making this video to ask for money at all. But from experience, I know that a few of you will probably ask me how you can help. And if you really want to and it doesn't affect you financially at all, I will leave some links in the description, you can give a one-time donation or you can join my Patreon and give a monthly pledge. But yeah, another way you can help me is if you know of anyone looking for motion designers that can work remote, that would be excellent. Please let me know, because finding a job is definitely my number one priority right now. But yeah, that is all I wanted to say. Thank you guys so much for sticking around with me, for still being subscribed, for still watching my videos. You guys are the greatest. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one!